they're all potential new and experienced investors. My name is Courtney Snow and I'm back with another educational, informational, and super interesting rent to retirement video. The discussion today, HELOC versus cash out refinancing. What is it? What is it good for? Why is it useful for you? Have you ever found yourself super invested in researching about the beginning steps of real estate investing and then you realize that you need a huge lump sum of money either to pay all cash or you need 20% down for the down payment and you just didn't know where you were gonna scrounge up that cash? I want all of you investors to know that there is in fact a way to come up with the capital quickly using resources that you may have already acquired without having to pinch pennies for X amount of years. That's called equity. So let's talk HELOC. So what does HELOC stand for? HELOC stands for Home Equity Line of Credit. A HELOC is a line of credit secured by your first mortgage that gives you revolving funds to use when needed. So with a HELOC, you're given a maximum amount to use. Once you pay that down or completely off, you can come back and withdraw more. A HELOC is usually used for short-term expenses as far as maybe updating a home or a down payment on a home, etc. With the HELOC, you're given a draw period of about five to 10 years. During that draw period is when you can take money out, pay it down. While you're paying it down, it's interest only payments. So after the drop period, you're gonna get this 10 to 20 year repayment period, which is when you start paying your principal and interest until it's all paid off. So although there is no minimum or maximum LTV percentage for a HELOC, lenders will usually give you about 75 to 90%. Typically a homeowner needs about 20% equity in their home in order to qualify for a HELOC. The best way to go about getting a HELOC is going through a local lender, a credit union, or maybe somebody that you already have a loan through. Okay, let's make this a little clearer for you. I'm gonna give you guys an example. Let's say you have a home that has a market value of $300,000, but you still owe $200,000 on it. This would mean that you have $100,000 worth of equity in your home. Well, let's say that your lender lets you take out 90% LTV. So if your home is worth $300,000, 90% of that is $270,000. You then wanna subtract out what you still owe on your home, leaving you with $70,000 to take out for a HELOC. Now that we've discussed HELOC, let's now talk cash out refinancing. There are several reasons why someone would want to refinance their home, but for the sake of this topic, we're gonna to discuss why it's helpful for you and your investment journey. Okay, so you're still in this predicament. You're trying to invest in real estate and you just don't have the capital to do so. This is where cash out refinancing comes in. So you go into the bank and you tell them you wanna refinance. The remaining balance on your home is paid off, taxes, closing costs, any fees that need to be paid, and you get a new loan amount with a new lower interest rate. The equity that you've accumulated so far in the home is given to you in one lump sum to do with as you wish, which in this case would be the down payment on your investment property. With cash out refinancing, you're gonna have access to around 75% to 80% LTV. Now again, there is no standard, but this is usually where we see it at. So now let's compare the pros and the cons and see which route is better for you to take in your investment journey. Let's start with the pros of a HELOC. You could have access to around 90% LTV. So if you have quite a bit of equity in your home, you're gonna be able to take out quite a bit of money for a HELOC. One of my favorite pros of a HELOC is that you don't have to take it out in one lump sum. You take it out as you need, pay it down, and if you need more, take some more out. A HELOC has little to no closing costs. The first five to 10 years, you're only paying interest, if you so choose. So with a HELOC, the initial payments are gonna be smaller. The cons of a HELOC. So with a HELOC, you're going to get a variable interest rate, meaning that it's gonna fluctuate with the index and the underlying benchmark. Okay, this is the real bad one. Your home equity line of credit is secured against your first mortgage. So if for some reason you cannot make your HELOC payments, they may come after your home. Scary. Repayment period, shock. So the first five to 10 years, only paying interest. Once your repayment period starts, it could be a little bit scary because those payments were smaller in the beginning and once that repayment period starts, they may get significantly higher. Be careful and plan this out. The last con is that you could overspend. When you get those first initial payments, they're gonna be a little bit smaller and you're gonna think, oh, well this is cake. I can repay this at any time. But remember that repayment period. So now let's talk pros of a cash out refinance. One, you're gonna get a fixed and lower interest rate. These are great for long-term investments. You get a longer repayment period and you might possibly get tax deductions. 
Now to the cons of cash out refinance. With cash out refinancing, you probably can't access as much equity as you could with the HELOC. You also have those dreaded closing costs that nobody looks forward to. You do have to take out one lump sum with a cash out refinance, as opposed to a HELOC with being able to just take out what you need when you need. And lastly, your principal and interest payments start the second that you refinance, so your payments are going to be larger right out of the gate. Now that we ran through what a HELOC is, cash out refinancing, pros and cons of each, and how it could help you financially, I hope that you can make a better fitting decision for you and your real estate needs. The main point of this video is to ease your mind and help you understand that there is in fact a way to gain capital quickly. Many potential investors call it quits before they even get started because they just think that there is no hope for them if they don't have any money in their savings account. My goal with this video is to help you better understand these financial terms and hope that you start investing sooner rather than later with options that benefit you and that may have been sitting under your nose the whole time. If you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video or something that I said sparked an idea, please get in contact with us. All of Rent to Retirement's contact info will be linked at the end of this video. Thanks and see you next time.